Well, damn. Man, I'm going to tell you, yeah, y'all right. You right. I had to sleep on it last night. I didn't know what to say last night. Too much stuff was happening. Boy, I tell you, too much stuff was happening on yesterday. Die. I had to get my thoughts together. Cause. Didn't know what to speak on. Some of you gonna I'm gonna speak on some of them. I'm just gonna let it go, cause just what it is. Alright. First let go to all corn. Good win, brave. Good win, good win, good win. But let me say this. Let me say this. Third quarter. Stop it. Third quarter. Check it out. Once again. But anyway, boy, that was a great game. That was a great game. Great, tough, physical, hard football game. Aaron Allen, boy, nephew, you showed your stuff. You showed your stuff. Keep it going, baby. Keep it going. Now, Tyler, Tyler Smith. Boy, when you pick that fumble up and roll into that end zone, all I could say was rumble, young man, rumble. I didn't know who it was until you came back in to the stadium because my man took off like Forrest Gump and left the stadium. But I saw that 58 when you was coming back, and I said, look at God. Yes, he did, boy. Boy, you took that ball and you ran with it. That's what I'm talking about. Boy, we, we behind you and we was loving it. That was a real touching moment and I loved it. Way to go, son. All right. Let me talk about Valley for a minute. Valley, my first cousin. Boy, y'all too. Them some tough, hard fighting fellas. Just ain't got enough depth on that team. But, boy, when they do, it's going to be a problem because they going to fight you. They going to fight you. And I love going down there and playing them. They going to fight us hard, and we going to have a good time on a beautiful campus with some beautiful people. Loving it. Hold your head up, Valley. Keep rolling, baby. Keep rolling. Keep coming. It'll come back. You'll have it. All right. PV, y'all took one on chin, didn't you? Y'all doing a little bit of talking. I was looking, I was seeing a little talking. It wasn't my, my business. I ain't say nothing, but uh, I told y'all that talking to get you something. That talking will get you something. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I know y'all waiting on this. I almost just let it go by. But I started looking at some of these comments and all these doggone posts about this doggone Alabama State and Jackson State. Oh, Prime and Eddie Ross. Oh, Lord. Okay. Now, I ain't gonna say who right and wrong. That ain't none of my business. But I can tell you what I think about it. Nah. First, I got to say, go Prime. Now, you know I've been working with you now. Some things, me and you, we, we, we on the up and up about some things we disagree on now. I'm just going to tell you, like everybody else, straight to your face, true to the face. Ain't nobody got to hug you, baby. Bye. Ain't nobody got to hug you. Now, that man reached his hand out, and that's all he wanted. That's all he wanted was a handshake and get on out of there now. Ain't got to hug you, baby. But anyway, now, I don't know about the, the football part of it at the end of the game now. What the man said was that you did a hitch and go. 40 seconds left and they ain't had no timeouts. So you up two scores. Mm-mm. <sighs> Mm-mm. I can't see that one either, man. I'm trying to make sense of it. You know, I'm trying to be objective about it, and I don't see it. 
Nah, I don't see why you would do that, man. Now, I'm looking in these doggone comments and uh, I'm seeing who trying to defend that stuff now. Now, what I'm about to start doing is put y'all on court alert. If your mom and them say you're missing, I'm going to say you're up in some kind of compound somewhere because uh, no, now, anybody who they ever talk about they know something about football, no doggone well, that ain't, that's not, that's not how you play football. That's a kneel all day long, baby. All right, that ain't my business, but I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. Now, all right. Is he swag? Is he ain't swag? Who swag and who ain't? First off, I need to see the degree that give you the authority to say when somebody's swag and they ain't. Who got one? That's what I want to know. Y'all up on, y'all in there with comments trying to decide who swag and who ain't and why this, but, bruh. Stop it. I feel like anybody feeling they hard that they swag, they swag. That's just what it is. You know, ain't no terminology on who swag can do. Man, cut it out. Now, don't get me wrong. I can kind of see why the man would say Prime ain't swag. Why he would say that, you know. Man, Prime went to school play Florida State. Hey, he been he been around football, swag football, what about two and a half years? That's about it. Now, I'm not saying Prime ain't swag. Now, I ain't, don't don't put no words in my mouth, but I can understand why the man would say that. Cause I tell you what, I can remember when we started getting some coaches outside and swag. Boy, y'all gave people hell. Then I tell you what. If Jay Hobson had ever talking about he was swag, every psych ward in southern United States would be full because you would have lost your damn mind. And that's just what it is. But anyway, we're going to move on from that. Because that was foolishness. I don't, I don't, I don't, that was foolishness. But anyway, all right, let's go back to uh, OSU. Put that whooping on PV. Now, I tell you what, you can guarantee that game with the Braves going to be the game of the week. Now, be careful in your trash talking. Because you see what it'll get you. You see what it'll get you. But a uh, raw. Uh, tread carefully, because uh, you know damn well. 